What's up, guys? Adam here with AeroWorks Productions, and we are in Edgewater, Florida today to make a visit to our friends Jan and Alyssa. Let's go take a look. All right, we are here with Jan and Alyssa, Viking Aircraft Engines. Hi. And Hello. we are going to uh, take a look at a few things here. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. Uh, as we move around and shop, I'm going to have to make sure I don't trip over this guy because I didn't pick him up. See? <laughs> <laughs> you can stay down. Yes, you can. Well, go ahead. Um, well, we can start with, we just got back from Texas, so we're kind of getting back into some of the things we've been working on. We did a, uh, a one of our right. five turbo installations out in Texas, and we'll probably be back out there for a first flight as well. So you guys can watch that as that kind of progresses. But as we've been progressing on our 701, which is the new match drilled kit from Zenith. So, and it has our 140 turbo on it, otherwise known as our baby turbo. And that's kind of what we're working on. So we're doing some mount modifications and we got some new pieces in. So well, 701 we, firewall is a little bit slimmer. So we have to modify it a bit compared to the 750 cruiser and the Stolt and the 650 that is all in now. Well, let's spill the beans a little bit about what we're doing. Uh, of course, we're gonna have two versions of this. Um, if we look inside the plane over here, we see something that any Zenith builder would instantly recognize as being different. And that is that the nose wheel is inside the airplane and we have reinforced this, we machined some pieces. It actually works exactly the same as it does on the outside, but what is the benefit for us? The benefit is we want this airplane to be the Zenith hot rod, which means it's uh, got lots of power, um, but we don't want any of the drawbacks of having that extra power. So a shorter moment arm from the center of the airplane will make the airplane handle better. You'll be able to take the torque from a more powerful engine. Moving the nose wheel inside, of course, enabled us to move the engine closer to the firewall. Uh, right now we're working on, this is a, production, uh, a prototype mounting system for it. That's now being upgraded today, actually, to a tubular style. But, uh, but it's gonna be close like this. And as you can see from the outside as well, the nose wheel goes up into the belly, which is non-traditional for Zenit. Usually it's in front of the firewall. But then other people are gonna want more of a traditional setup, so we'll offer it both ways. It'll be uh, with the short coupled engine mount and the little bit longer coupled engine mount. Yeah, we're, we're pretty far along on it. We're kind of at a other than working on our engine, we're kind of at a stopping point until Zenith kind of has the wings and stuff ready. It's one of their first. So as we progress, you'll see a lot of our build um, online and stuff like that, whereas and you can't see it in a lot of other places. So You know, the 701 is the one that's been around the longest. Um, and then after that, they jump to the big one, like the 801. And then what we're familiar with in today's world might be something in between, like the uh, 750 Cruiser and 750 Stall and then the Super Duty. But all of those fall in between what started in the beginning, which was the Tiny One 701 and the big brother, the 801. And, um, and it started out on like a Rotax 582 or something like that. So it was, we're talking a, a very small amount of power compared to what we're putting on them now. But they've also beefed up the structure quite a bit in this new kit and made some changes that kind of that kind of help and people would have liked to see years ago, but are now getting to see on these newer kits. Of course, we're involved a little bit in the, <clears throat> not in making the design, but we're being consulted as far as, you know, what we would like to see and all that. And, and they've implemented, uh, not just because we said it, but because they feel the same way that the new 701 has to stay like the old 701. So if you, if you incorporate all the changes that was done to the 750, now it becomes the 750. They don't want that. They want a small, uh, agile little airplane, uh, but able to cope with today's engines. You know, the Viking engine, the bigger uh, injected turbocharged Rotax engines. Bigger and bigger, Yeah, so bigger tail, a little bit thicker skins, uh, heavier duty engine mounts with the buckets inside. and. So minor changes that are allowing this new airplane to become more fun, and partially because of the stole competition stuff too, right. you know, being able to do that. And, and I think they're even gonna offer it eventually as a tail dragger as, and also as a nose wheel, yeah. This, the engine that's on the 701 here is the 140 turbo? Yeah, that's our 140 turbo. That's one of our newer offerings. So the Viking 140 turbo and the Viking 175 are our two newest engines and um, 
Yeah, you've seen it on our 650 a lot, so we have a lot of videos about that. And it's being put on a cruiser, it's being put on 701s, it's being put on a stole, a lot of 650s. So it will eventually replace what is our 130 being the same weight and more power. And then we also have, um, you know, our Viking 150, which is, here's our 130s, which everybody has known. It's been around for about a decade. And our 150s. So with having similar weights and more power, it seems to be the selection that people are kind of taking and moving up with more horsepower without the weight penalty. And also the 170, as you said, the 175 has become very popular because it gets, um, uh, the 195 is the 1.5 turbo. And turbochargers are great. Um, you have a little bit more complexity, intercooler, turbocharger. Maybe a person that has an engine like that would be a, know a little bit about engines. They know a little, understand a little bit about flying with boost and all that. And then you jump down to the 175, which is also going to be offered, for instance, to the um, Super Duty. Uh, already one going to Australia. New Zealand. New Zealand. And, um, yeah, not quite the same amount of power, but surprisingly, the Super Duty is uh, sold on the, um, on, the, on, the, on the spec sheet from 160, one, 160 to, to, to something, yeah. So it'll still be a good engine, uh, maybe simpler engine, inline, um, port injected, not direct injection. So everybody has a choice. Nice. Yeah. And all these are readily available? Somebody oh, wants yes. to order one? So um, <coughs> a lot of these are kind of already sold, so they'll leave in the next two weeks. But we just shipped out, before we left to Texas, two 175s and two 195 turbos. <coughs> Some of those going on S21s, one of each, a 175 and a 195 turbo. And then also an RV9 kit and then some Zeniths as well. So and a couple, be... couple of pickups, actually, on the baby turbo engines. One, one person came in their motorhome, and we loaded it into the motorhome. Yeah, for <laughs> so, a 701. Yeah. So now you've got some new developments working, uh, going on here in the shop. There's always something going on. Um, just finished, uh, like this is a kind of our cowling se section. Um, like right before this mold, we made this mold, you know, which we already had a 701, but now like we talked about over there, a little bit more power and everything. So I had to change this part to make it a 13 inch spinner. And so we're, we're getting good at like taking an existing mold from an engine that we've had in the past and then modifying it into a new mold that we can make a new feature to. And we're doing that over here today on the RV12 mold. Um, this is actually, from the mold, we made a set of heavy cowlings. And then the heavy cowlings now become the basis for a new plug. And the new plug, um, the, usually the biggest change from like a flat engine, like the 110, is that where the spinner is gonna be located. And we already know from our CAD development that the spinner's gonna come down a little bit like that. So that would be the only real change to this is we're gonna sculpture, we're gonna draw a line here, we're gonna cut this out, and we're gonna sculpture this in and fare that in. And then we'll make a new mold out of that, and that will be the baby turbo for the RV-12. As we know, the RV-12, also very popular light home build airplane. Uh, Jan, I see you've got, a, you've got a greenhouse in your shop here. Yeah, our electric bill is low, though, so you can't blame me of anything. <laughs> okay. No, um, over here is Alyssa's office and, uh, and her uh, helper, Kim. Mm -hmm. And they have a good environment that's clean and air conditioned and so forth. However, in the past, my idea, which was good at the time but not anymore, was that this was the office. This was actually located over there, okay. and this was the only place that was clean because it was the office. Right. So we decided, well, why don't we change that? Why don't we keep everything clean, and then we have a small area for the dirty work. Makes sense. Yeah, so now the sanders and the cutters and all that stuff is inside there, and out here is the clean area. Nice. That was uh, at, in Florida, and that's the one I think we won. Nice. Yeah. 44 feet. 44 feet. Well, guys, thanks for joining us here at Jan and Alyssa's place in uh, Edgewater, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're, they gave us a quick tour. They're, they're busy here working on new developments, but we thought we'd stop and say hi. They've always been an awesome supporter of uh, my build and Aeroworks, and uh, we wanted to stop in and say hi. So, again, guys, thanks for uh, watching, and we'll see you on the next video.